Coming up on This Week in Torrance, we'll tell you which local hospital gets a top ranking. Then Vector Control finds West Nile at a popular Torrance destination. Plus, there's still time to give your input on the development of the Solano project. We'll tell you how. And a magical Broadway musical is gearing up for opening day right here in Torrance. These stories and much more are just seconds away. Your local news starts right now. Hello and welcome to This Week in Torrance. I'm Jin Chen. Ben McCain has the week off. Thanks so much for joining us. Here are your top stories. The Torrance Police Department is asking the community for their input as they prepare for the future. The organization's strategic plan will serve as the department's roadmap for the next three years, and they want your input and feedback. You can participate by attending either of the two upcoming strategic planning workshops scheduled for Tuesday, August 20th, and Wednesday, August 21st. There are two hour, these are two hour meetings with limited seating. Staff hopes this will continue to enhance the partnership with the community. To attend, RSVP to dmergadishian at torrentca.gov. The Torrance Police Department also announced registration is open for its Partners in Policing program. This is an 11-week course for anyone interested in learning more about what the police department does and how they serve the community. All sessions are taught by police officers from various divisions ranging from detectives, homicide, DUI, drones, SWAT, canine, and much more. The program kicks off September 12th, and classes take place every Thursday night from 6 to 8 p.m. To sign up, go to torrentca.gov. Well, city staff extended the deadline for community input on a large residential project. Originally, the community had until August 5th to provide comments or feedback on the Solano Residential Development Project, but now residents now have until August 19th to submit any comments about the draft environmental impact report. All of the feedback received will be addressed in the final report. The Solano Residential Development Project would be located on the southwest corner of Hawthorne Boulevard and Via Valmonte. There are plans to develop 248 apartment units in three five-story buildings. The draft environmental impact report makes sure that the proposed project will not result in any significant adverse effects on the environment. Staff has plans to have a public hearing for the project next. You can email comments to omartinez at torrentca.gov. Make sure to put the project name in the subject line and include your name and phone number. Well, Torrance residents, are you ready for the big one? Well, living here in Southern California, you've probably experienced at least one or more earthquakes. Torrance City Cable reporter Jessie Pierre continues her series on how to prepare for the big one. And this week, we're focusing on tips for when you're on the road. Earlier this month, Southern California was shaken by one of the strongest earthquakes in years, bringing disaster preparedness to the top of people's minds. Have you felt the earthquakes that happened in recent weeks? Oh, yes. What have you done to prepare? Water, canned goods, a flashlight. I got it all in a backpack by the door. Do you have anything in your car? No, no, I don't. <laughs> and David Stovall is not alone. According to YouGov, a global public opinion and data company, 41% of Americans are still unprepared for natural disasters, especially when on the road. You can start today by this, you know, getting water together, getting food together. You know, you want to have a uh, battery powered or hand crank radio, um, and that's really um, so you can stay informed and listen to what local authorities are saying. And also you want to have a first aid kit and any special medication you may need. American Red Cross spokesperson Marilyn Jimenez Davila said you want to have enough items to survive on your own for at least three days. Adding a blanket, a change of clothing, and other items that bring you comfort are also important. If you have children as well, or even pets, you know, think about them, think about how to keep them comfortable. But also, don't forget to make sure to have a pair of sneakers in your car. You might need to walk long distance, and especially for the ladies, if you're coming from work and there's an emergency, you might need to switch out of those heels. So this will be very important to have in your car. And after that, you're ready to go. If you're on the road and uh, an earthquake happens, what you should do is find a clear area uh, to pull over and stop. You want to really try to avoid things such as bridges, overpasses, or even power lines that could fall onto your car. And if something does fall on your vehicle, um, if it's a power line, you want to make sure you remain in your car and you wait for assistance. 
Natural disasters are unpredictable, and the last thing you want to worry about is being low on cash or on gas. You should always plan to have at least a, a half tank of, a, of gas um, in your vehicle. Um, and also, you know, when you are going back home, uh, especially after an earthquake, do anticipate any uh, traffic light outages, so just drive with caution. Stovall says his car is not quite ready, but if there is an earthquake while he is on the road, he knows exactly what to do. I'm going to pull to the side of the road. Get, as long as I ain't buy no tall buildings and nothing that can fall on me again. You know, I'm great. For Torrance City Cable, I'm Jesse Pierre. Thanks, Jesse. For a list of items to add to your emergency kit or to purchase a full kit, visit redcross.org. A local hospital ranks among the nation's best once again. Torrance Memorial Medical Center took the 12th spot for overall hospital quality in the state of California. This is a large jump from last year's ranking at 21st place. This is the eighth year, straight year in a row Torrance Memorial Medical Center has made the U.S. News and World Report list for best hospitals. Only 165 hospitals out of more than 4,500 medical centers nationwide were ranked. They were compared across 16 specialties, including cancer, cardiology, diabetes, to heart surgery, along with nine procedures and conditions. TMMC's orthopedic program was included in the national rankings for the first time at number 42. Providence Little Company of Mayor Medical Center was also ranked 45th in the state. Congratulations to both hospitals. Well, an alert went out this week warning residents of West Nile detection here in Torrance. City staff received a report from Vector Control confirming that on July 23rd, there were two recent mosquito pool samples that confirmed positive for West Nile virus at the Madrona Marsh Preserve Nature Center. Now, each week, Vector Control sets out traps at various locations at the marsh. Once collected, the mosquitoes are tested for West Nile virus and St. Louis encephalitis. Staff have already posted new West Nile virus warning signs on the fence that surround the preserve as well as the entrance gates. There will be limited evening activities at the marsh during this time. West Nile is the leading cause of mosquito-borne disease in the United States. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, about one in five people who are infected develop a fever and other symptoms. You can reduce the risk of being infected by wearing insect repellent and long sleeve shirts and pants to prevent mosquito bites. Learn more at cdc.gov. Well, still ahead, a local organization is teaching Torrance kids how to be safe in the water while having fun. Plus, we'll take you inside the big tent on opening day. Planning the right amount of food is hard. The guesstimator makes it easy. Just tell it who's coming and what's for dinner. Then it tells you how much to make. And yes, it even plans for leftovers. Try it at savethefood.com. Welcome back. The weather is hot and swimming season is here, making it the perfect time to freshen up on pool safety skills. Jesse Pierre has a story. Summertime means more kids will be cooling off at the beach and local pools. She loves the water. She will stay for hours in the pool. So that, that's one of her happy places. Chantal Mandeville says she's been bringing her daughter to the South Bay Torrance YMCA for over five years. But when it's really hot, we come almost two, three times a week. Shelly is one of nearly 200 kids who have signed up to learn how to swim through the annual Safety Around the Water program offered at the Y. She actually wants to join a swim team and she wants to do mermaid camp because they have mermaid camp here. And, but to do that, she has to be able to be able to swim on her own. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, drowning remains the leading cause of unintentional deaths for children between the ages of one and four years old. That is why programs just like these are so essential, teaching kids as young as three years old how to swim and safety around the water. We always let them know that they should never swim alone, um, know their limits, uh, never go past where they don't feel comfortable, such as, you know, the moment they can't touch the ground, they should consider swimming with an adult. Keeping her within arm's distance of me, that's a really important rule that I didn't think about as much. And when they jump in, that they jump in feet first, not head first. During the 45-minute class, kids learn to float, kick, stroke, and techniques to breathe properly underwater. I'm so impressed by my daughter. She actually learned how to float and how to swim. I mean, as a three-year-old, just, hi, this is your first swimming lesson, and then the third day, she's swimming across the pool. Started um, with swimming um, in 
a shallow water, that like one foot deep water, and then I got to three foot, and then I got to four foot, and now I'm at like six foot. Mandeville says that seeing her daughter in the water has inspired her to get lessons of her own. Her deal with me is that I have to go and take a class at the same time she takes one for ball. So she's made that deal with me. For Torrance City Cable, I'm Jesse Pierre. Thanks, Jesse. Torrance South Bay YMCA offers swim lessons year-round. The next Safety Around the Water session begins in November. To sign up or for more information, call 310-325-5885 or visit them at 2900 Sepulveda Boulevard. Shakespeare by the Sea is halfway through their 22nd season and even performed here at Wilson Park. Reporter Jen Maria was there and has more. Hundreds of locals from the South Bay gathered for a free Shakespeare drama to watch the story of Henry V unfold. Lisa Coffey, producing and artistic director and founding member of Shakespeare by the Sea, says theater performances like these are important. Part of our uh, mission is to go around and do performances for underserved audiences and one of our locations we hit every year for the last 20 years is Ben Torrance's Wilson Park. A lot goes into production for these seasonal performances and is a year-round process with 42 shows and 23 locations just this year. Planning and funding is important. Stephanie Coltrane, associate producer and director, mentioned how the audience can help support the work that goes into the plays. Unfortunately, free theater is not free to produce, so it does cost us money. So since we don't charge admission, we do ask that people spend money while they're here, buy merchandise, raffle tickets, make a donation. People began to look for their seats and get their snacks ready as the show was about to start. Attendees were very excited to come along and support Shakespeare by the Sea and spoke with me about why they chose to attend. I love cultural events in the city of Torrance and this one's free, Shakespeare by the Sea. My wife and I have been coming for about 10 years, so we love it. I like theater. I like, and it's great when it's outdoors for the people, you know, so it's very, it's fun. It's a festive atmosphere. I am a regular theater goer in the entire South Bay and also up in town, but Shakespeare by the Sea is one of the only places that I go to to see free live theater um, done in a professional manner and, um, and just with great actors and a wonderful design team. Hundreds gathered for Henry V, and Holly mentioned the impact an audience can have on a production like this. The show isn't a show until you have an audience. So until you have an audience, your show isn't complete. So just by being a part of the audience here, we're helping to complete the show. Thanks, Jen. If you'd like to attend an upcoming show, check out their events calendar online at shakespearebythesea.com. Now, if you've ever dreamed of running off and joining the circus, this year's Circus Vargas will take you about as close as you can get. As the traveling show celebrates its 50th anniversary, Torrance City Cable reporter Colleen Farrell takes us under the big top to find out the meaning behind this year's theme, The Greatest of Ease. Clowns, jugglers, and a flying trapeze. It means just one thing, the circus is in town. The Circus Vargas Big Top is assembled just east of the Delamo Fashion Center. Inside is where the magic happens. Circus Vargas celebrates its 50th anniversary with homage to the golden era of circus. It invites guests all aboard its Circus Steam Engine to travel back in time and relive the nostalgia of circus yesteryear. We wanted to do something that takes us back to the beginning of circus. The star of this year's show is Mariella Caroga. Caroga plays a young girl who leaves her hometown, joins the circus, and becomes a trapeze artist. At the end of the show, she has to decide whether or not she wants to continue with the show if she's going to leave. So you have to come watch and see what happens. Caroga spent her youth traveling the world with Circus Vargas as an eighth generation circus performer. Her sister Daniela is also a contortionist in the show. Their lineage includes grandfather Vittoria Arada, who now works behind the scenes, and proud parents Katja and Nelson Caroga, who met and fell in love as performers. In 2005, the Carogas became the third owners of Circus Vargas. 
It's a show steeped in the tradition of its founder, Clifford Vargas. Actually watching my two daughters perform is one of the greatest feelings, just, you know, being part of a, a family business, first of all, being part of your tradition, being part of the circus tradition. The Circus Vargas performers wear many hats. For example, before the show, you might catch them selling tickets, concessions, or even face painting. The highlights of this year's show include a mesmerizing mid-air suspension of aerial strap artists, twisting, turning trample wall action, and a death-defying ride by the Circus Vargas motorcycle daredevils inside a steel sphere. I thought it was just amazing. Uh, the motorcycle shocked me the most. And just there was a lot of things that were interesting. The most awesome thing that we hear at the end of the day is most of, wow, you know, I, I went to Circus Vargas as a kid and now I'm bringing my kid here or, or even my grandchild. So <laughs> it's uh, Circus Vargas has been around a long time and we hope to keep it going like this uh, for many, many years. A few laughs, a little fear, all shared with popcorn, cotton candy, and a caramel apple. It's an American tradition like no other. For Torrance City Cable, I'm Colleen Farrell. Thanks, Colleen. Circus Vargas is in Torrance until August 5th with multiple performances throughout the day. For a complete listing of show times and to purchase tickets, visit circusvargas.com. The Torrance Rose Float Association hosted an event filled with aloha in the hopes of raising much needed funds for their upcoming float. A Hawaiian dance group from Gardena Valley Baptist Church to the South Bay's drummers performed to set the Hawaiian mood for the Torrance Rose Flood Association's fourth annual Luau fundraiser. More than 100 people attended to support the cause and members of the organization say their 2020 float is underway and this event will help fund costs associated with building of the float to feeding volunteer decorators. This Luau offered a three-course meal and participants also got a hula lesson. We're so excited because this is absolutely beautiful. And as you may know, we're going to be celebrating our Pine Wing Garden that's in the Central Torrance area that's over by the City Hall. The upcoming float marks the 65th one for the City of Torrance. The float concept was created by a local high school student, Aaliyah Kang, and depicts the city's Pine Wing Japanese Garden at the Cultural Arts Center. It's called the Power of Hope, and once again, Fiesta Parade Floats will be building the float. They are the premier builder of parade floats for the Tournament of Roses Parade. Decorating week is December 26th through the 30th. In order to participate, you must be a member first. For more information, go to torrencerosefloat.org. Well, tickets are on sale for a Broadway musical performance happening right here in Torrance. For the first time, the Torrance Theater Company will perform the Beauty and the Beast and the Beast uh, Broadway musical at the James Armstrong Theater. Opening day is August 16th. There will be eight performances overall based on the Academy Award winning animated feature film. There are 44 performers and all of the actors are volunteers from Torrance and around the South Bay area. The show will feature a live orchestra featuring 12 musicians, more than 120 costumes and 50 wigs. The show is the 92nd production the city of Torrance has presented through the Torrance Theater Company since 1999. This year marks the company's 20th anniversary. The Torrance Theater Company is a program of the Cultural Services Division of the Torrance Community Services Department. Now for tickets, go to torrancetheatercompany.com. A top staffing organization is now serving the South Bay community. Yay! The Torrance Area Chamber of Commerce along with the community welcomed the franchise Pride staff with a ribbon cutting. It's a nationally recognized agency that provides a full range of staffing and employment services in a variety of industries, expands to Torrance. The office on Hawthorne Boulevard in the Rolling Hills Shiatsu Center specializes in the financial sector, administrative, clerical, and light industrial positions. Locally owned and operated Pride staff has consistently ranked among the highest 1% of staffing firms in the industry. The company places people in the right career while also assisting businesses in finding the right talent. This is really exciting. It kind of makes it feel like we're really here. We've really been a part of the community and we're really trying to let everyone know that it's important for us to uh, 
contribute. And so it's, it's uh, the perfect place, it's centralized, and uh, we really like this area. A great day to be here uh, for an employment agency to be opening here. What it means is that there are people looking for jobs. There are jobs to be given. That means Torrance is vibrant and we're growing. So this is a great day for the city of Torrance. And I am glad to be here to be part of it. Well, it's extremely important uh, for businesses to grow uh, in the community. They need employees. And uh, this is a company that uh, any employer can come to uh, to provide uh, that service to them in hiring employees to fulfill their needs uh, for their, their company. According to Clearly Rated, a business intelligence firm specializing in the staffing industry, Pride staff earned a client net promoter score as high as or higher than other well-known brands such as Amazon and Netflix. It is the only nationwide commercial staffing firm in the United States and Canada with more than $100 million in annual revenue to earn Clearly Rated a uh, prestigious Best Staffing Diamond Award six years in a row. The company operates more than 80 offices in North America and serves more than 5,000 clients. To learn more, call them at 310-214-0622. Cosmic Brewery celebrated its third anniversary recently with a special fundraiser for Canine Rescue, combining a love for beer and dogs. Torrance City Cable reporter Sarah Honeycutt was there to tell us all about it. Lovers and beer connoisseurs got to enjoy the best of both worlds thanks to Cosmic Brewery in Torrance. Sabrina and Chris Bryles, the owners of Cosmic Brewery, founded K911 Rescue in 2017. He brews the beer and she brings the barks, and together they have brought their two loves to fruition. Uh, today is our third year anniversary and we decided to do something special. So we, we have actually uh, 11 or 12 beers on tap, uh, about Seven of them are new beers. I uh, made a special uh, uh, Braggot style ale and a special barley wine ale just for this event. Uh, we decided also to do the uh, K911 Rescue um, fundraiser because after all, that's really what we really want to help all the, all the dogs. K911 is a nonprofit organization that has a mission to help injured, homeless, disabled, and even senior dogs. They rehabilitate and find them loving homes. So what we do, or what Chris does, is he brews a special beer uh, specifically to help us pay vet bills. So everything that you purchase, like the beer that you purchased today or whatever in our silent auction, he donates 100% of that so that way we could pay for like Bambi's broken leg. Bambi costs $10,000. We don't know the other ones yet, so it's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. 300 people showed up to the third anniversary celebration and fundraiser. Cosmic Breweries sold out of the six-pack specials brewed specifically for K911. We, we found this spot after looking for three years and uh, found the perfect location. And we didn't even know it at the time, but we, we plunked down right in the middle of what they call the Beer Muta Triangle here in Torrance. <laughs> You know, they always say if you hit three years, uh, you're doing something right. So I, I think the people have spoken and said that they, they love the beer, they love the atmosphere, uh, they keep coming back. And if you missed this event, not to worry. Chris says this is not a one-time event. Every weekend, they donate 100% of the proceeds of one beer in their digital tap room to K911 Rescue. You can still stop by with your favorite four-legged friend to enjoy a cold brew on tap. For Torrance City Cable, I'm Sarah Honeycutt. Thanks, Sarah. 100% of the proceeds from Cosmic Breweries Barks and Brews will go towards paying vet bills and pulling more dogs from the shelters. For more information about upcoming events, visit CosmicBrewery.com or call 424-259-2337. For more information about dog adoptions, visit CanineRescue.com or call 424-245-5829. Local high school students will learn the impacts of social media through a special movie screening. Like, a documentary about the impact of social media on lives will be aired at North High School and West High School during the first week of school. The Indie Flicks original documentary shares the effects of technology and social media on the brain, lives, civilization, and much more. The goal of the movie is to inspire people of all ages, especially kids, to self-regulate and create a balance in their lives. Torrance Unified School District staff says they want to make sure students are addressing mental health issues and screen time as 
well. Local college students will soon reap the benefits of a large grant. El Camino Foundation received a $25,000 grant from Edison International that will assist ECC students to meet their academic goals this year. 17 Edison STEM scholars were recently named and will receive scholarships to continue their studies in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Edison STEM scholars receive two to $5,000 scholarships at the annual Mesa STEM Transfer and Scholarship Awards ceremony this past spring. This is the seventh annual grant for STEM scholars the foundation has received from Edison. The foundation scholarship program overall will award more than 600,000 to more than 550 ECC students for 2019 to 2020 academic year. To learn more about the foundation, go to elcamino.edu. A well-known clothing brand recently announced a recall. H&M, a leading fashion retailer, is recalling two sets of children's pajamas due to safety concerns of flammability. 9,000 of the 100% cotton knit jammy top did not meet the standard for children's sleepwear, posing a risk of burn injuries to children. Both sets were sold in sizes 2 through 10. To know if your set is part of the recall, go to the label of the pajamas where you'll find the product code. These were sold online and in stores between July 2018 and May 2019. H&M is offering a full refund and a $20 gift card. Injuries have not been reported. For questions, call H&M's toll-free line at 855-466-7467. And before we go, here are some events you won't want to miss. On Tuesday, August 6th from 6 to 8 p.m., communities throughout the U.S., including Torrance, will participate in National Night Out. Various block parties will take place throughout the city, bringing law enforcement uh, and residents together. To learn more, go to natw.org. Then the Torrance Marriott is celebrating International Root Beer Float Day on Friday, August 9th. $5 root beer floats will be sold from 4 to 7 p.m. in support of the Children's Miracle Network. And before we go, let's get a sneak peek at the next sports desk. Hey, Leslie, what do you have for us? What's up, Jen? Coming up on the sports desk, South High softball and baseball bring the heat in summer. Some former NFL pros take to the Torrance High football field for a one-day clinic, and Olympic legends take over the Torrance Aquatic Center, showing our swimmers how to be fitter and faster. All of that plus so much more, so be sure to watch every day at 4 and 9.30. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Leslie. Well, that does it for us on This Week in Torrance. I'm Jin Chun. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time.